Hey guys, my name is Ismaus and this is a quick breakdown of how I made this uh, animation scene. Uh, you can see we have an ocean uh, with some floating objects and a person uh, there swimming. So to do this, uh, let's, we're going to be using the ocean modifier. So let me begin by showing you how I made this ocean. So let's go to a new Blender project and uh, just use a plane and uh, then add an ocean modifier. Ocean modifier. Uh, if you play back, it won't do much. Uh, but uh, if you can make this time value, then you can have the ocean unmade. So I'm just going to set a keyframe at uh, zero and then another keyframe, maybe five at uh, the end of the timeline. So it starts up a bit slow and then uh, picks up speed. Uh, I don't want that. So I'm just going to hit V in the uh, timeline here so that I can change the interpolation at vector or linear so that it's more uh, so that the, the speed is constant and uh, then uh, we want to have larger waves so i'll go to the waves and uh, increase the scale a bit and you can also increase this uh, the resolution here to get more detailed uh, renders here uh, if you look at uh, the render preview you see we have a lot of large waves but uh, we lack uh, some close-up details or some small details uh, so what i did in my uh, version i added some uh, uh, noise displacement uh, or noise uh, maps so just going to add in um, a texture noise and then add a vector bump connect the factor to the height and then this to the normal now we should start to see some bumps in the fluid in our water okay right now they are too harsh so i'm just going to reduce that and uh, usually uh, the to make them look more realistic i'm just going to add uh, some coordinate mapping and scale the noise on the x-axis so that they look more like waves instead of just noise so i'm just going to scale these let's see where is my camera going to be looking up something like this maybe make them a bit larger now you can see we have some smaller uh, details now, if you have this reflecting, uh, let's say if you make this a bit more reflective, you can see how we have smaller details in that. And I also animated uh, the noise here to make uh, the noise to make it look uh, seem like a, it's part of wave simulation. So if you animate, let's see, yeah, the X value or whatever value depending on your scene uh, it might be different so for mine it's just going to be the x value you can see the waves those bumps are also being animated which makes it blend blend which makes them blend into uh, the scene much much better so that's our wave and now let's uh, look at uh, how i added in our uh, floating objects how to make objects float uh, on the ocean so for that you just need something like an empty an empty object so let's find uh, that i'm just going to use this cube and then uh, go to the uh, constraint add a shrink wrap constraint and then select uh, the ocean as your target now this starts to move with the ocean as uh, the ocean moves up but uh, it's a bit jagged so change uh, the mod the mod here uh, to tangent normal this is much more smooth uh, than uh, using other any other mode so let me just bring this closer to where we have some larger waves you can see there will still be that uh, kind of jagged uh, areas and I think that's uh, also a result of the resolution you're using here the higher the resolution then uh, the better the uh, the movement is going to be the smoother the movement is going to be or if you want to reduce that you don't you want to make sure that uh, you don't have uh, you don't have a lot of larger vertical waves uh, if you make the waves the scale of the wave uh, less high then the animation is also going to be more smooth but uh, still uh, if you may want to increase on the resolution of the wave that will kind of reduce but uh, that slows down the frame rate here so let me just bring it back to 10 and now you can parent any object you want for example i can parent this torus Uh, to to that control p you can see now uh, but uh, 
The torus is not orienting to the wave, like we have in this example scene. You can see it goes with the direction of the wave. So to do that, you need to go into the constraint of your empty and turn on align normal. If your object gets reoriented, uh, change the align axis until you get the right axis. Now you can see that uh, things look much better. There's still a few jumps. I might want to reduce on the target influence and uh, maybe bring this down a bit so that it sinks in halfway uh, into the ocean. So we have something like that. This is much smoother in some areas, but uh, yeah, that snapping sometimes goes away, sometimes it doesn't. Um, so let's just bring this back up a bit. Let's see. Let's put this above surface. See what we have. I'm not really sure how to get rid of that snapping option, that snapping issue. Uh, sometimes just moving the object uh, in a different position might help. But uh, yeah, there's no re easier way to smoothen that uh, that snapping. But, uh, if you're lucky enough, you may not even see it. But I think it's dependent on the angle on the height of your waves, if they are too high, then it makes it easy for for this to snap because it depend it's depend it depends on the tangent normal of uh, the measure of the faces of your waves. So if your uh, if your waves break or they kind of I don't know how to make this shape. If you if they make this shape and your cube or your empties at this position, and uh, it will have to snap. To this normal here, so that's why you see it's kind of creating that jagged uh, or that jump. Uh, so if your waves are not uh, that sharp, if they are not bending that sharp, uh, for example, if they are kind of in this shape instead of being too sharp like that, uh, because you see the snap happening when this object is going over to this area. So, but uh, if the waves are a lot smoother, then you would have a smoother a floating object. Uh, I wish there was a way to kind of make uh, floating objects. Uh, this is more like a hack and not really the the official way of making objects. Uh, small thing. So let's uh, look at uh, other things here. Yeah, in the same way, I added the I added this character here. I parented them to this object and. Uh, uh, that gave me options to add and made uh, the hands and make it seem like she was uh, she was swimming. Let me get rid of this. And, uh, the sun is just a basic atmosphere. And I added some fake clouds in front of it to make it look like a sunset. And uh, for the volumetric there, or for the atmospheric fog, I used uh, this uh, cube uh, with. Uh, uh, with a uh, principal volume shader and uh, just to make sure that uh, I don't see uh, the speck uh, the highlight of this light uh, I turned I turned let me see let me see uh, the density all the way to zero and just use uh, the emission strength uh, to render the volumetrics instead of using let me just show you here if you use uh, a density let me just add a light here so that you can see I'll just add a point light and uh, give it a strength of say 1000. Uh, let's get our volume. Let's try 0.5. Let's see the light. You can, if you if you use density, you see that specular that kind of highlight there, uh, where the point source, uh, where the point light is. But uh, if you use emission instead of uh, the uh, instead of uh, density, then you will not see it. So, for example, if I just increase uh, the emission strength, you do, you can see 
uh, we don't see uh, that point light anymore. Yeah, that's it. I thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next video.